Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, my name is Sarah Salmon, I'm a naturopathic nutritionist and today we're going to be taking a quick look at digestive enzymes. First of all, let's uh, start by asking the question, what are digestive enzymes? Uh, well, they're vital to actually how we break down and assimilate um, all of the nutrients from our food, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, our food contains uh, a very wide range of nutrients that we need in order to, in order to live, in order to survive. Uh, but in order to do that, we actually have to break the food right down into its constituent parts, and it's the digestive enzymes that actually help us do that. Um, proteins need to be broken down into amino acids, uh, carbohydrates into glucose for us to use for energy, and fats into um, fatty acids, essential fatty acids, and glycerol. And different enzymes break down um, different foods, and the body produces um, a range of all of these enzymes to ensure that we can actually digest and assimilate what's important for us. So there are actually two sources of enzymes. I've sort of said that actually, um, you know, our bodies produce enzymes, and these are, are what we call pancreatic enzymes. They're produced by the pancreas. It's one of the, the functions that the pancreas has. But there is another source of enzymes, which are, are plant-based enzymes. They, um, all plants that grow have um, enzymes as, as, as part of their makeup, and our bodies can utilize uh, these enzymes to help break down food as well. It takes some of the load off the pancreatic enzymes. But unfortunately, the, the plant-based enzymes are destroyed by um, heat, any sort of heat over 118 degrees centigrade, which actually isn't, it isn't that hot. So um, if you'll know if you're a raw foodie that actually uh, it's not deemed to be raw food if it's over 118 degrees centigrade, and this really is because of, of the enzymatic activity being, being lost at that, so you lose the benefit of eating the food raw. And that is one of um, uh, the benefits you get from eating raw food, is that nature gives you a helping hand uh, with your digestion. Um, so ideally, all of us will be having a certain percentage of our diet raw. So as I said, these, these enzymes, the plant-based enzymes, are severely compromised by heat. Um, and also, there is another problem that we face in the 21st century, and that is that um, a lot of supermarkets use something called enzyme inhibitors, which they spray on fruit and vegetables in order to stop enzyme activ activity, because essentially enzyme activity breaks the food down. So in the long term, it's the enzyme activity that really causes food to go off and to start to go rotten. So of course, supermarkets don't want this because they want long shelf life, and they spray with enzyme inhibitors. But what happens is when we eat that food with those enzyme inhibitors on, we actually lose the benefit of any enzymes in that food. So um, that can be a problem. And we have no way of knowing when we pick food up from the supermarket whether actually we're going to get the benefit of enzymes in the food or, or whether the supermarket has, has, has foiled us in, in that, as it were. So it means then that we really have to fall back on our pancreatic enzymes really much more than nature intended because... Um, if we look at the kind of diet that we evolved with, diet, uh, nature really did intend us to make use of our pancreatic enzymes, but also of the enzymes that she gave us in food. And we really, um, we know this because we have a finite number of these pancreatic enzymes. So pancreatic enzymes are made in the uh, pancreas and transported to the gallbladder where they're put into bile, which is produced by the liver, and then delivered into the small in intestine via the bile duct. Uh, and really the pancreatic enzymes are, are to do with uh, everything to do with sort of the, the, the breakdown of food that takes place in, in the small intestine. As I said, we need sort of various nutrients um, in our diet uh, for all sorts of things, but if we don't have uh, a, you know, a nutrient-rich diet and we don't have uh, the full range of nutrients in our diet, you know, not only will we not be fit and vital, but we actually will struggle to make all of the digestive enzymes we need. So, you know, it, it becomes quite circular. If you're uh, nutritionally very depleted, your digestion will be poor, which means you'll have even more trouble, you know, assimilate, breaking down and assimilating food, which, you know, and on it goes. So it really is very, very important that, um, you know, this aspect of digestion is taken very seriously and taken care of. As I said, you know, we do have a finite reserve of these digestive enzymes. Um, you know, they, they're not produced by our body at the same kind of levels throughout our lives. As we get older, we, our store cupboard starts to deplete and starts to get empty. 
And this is one of the reasons why I say nature has been very kind to us and given us plant enzymes, um, because it actually helps us to uh, helps us to, to, to hang on to the reserves that we do have. But as I say nowadays, most of us don't eat any food or any food or much food raw, um, and so we actually deplete our supply of pancreatic enzymes very, very quickly, and so we get into digestive uh, difficulties. And I very often see people who are, you know, in the late 30s, early 40s, who are really starting to have problems around digestion, and it becomes very, very common when people are in their 50s and 60s, certainly in their 70s, um, digestive problems with actually breaking down food properly and with assimilating the food. So, you know, um, with, with actually being able to get the goodness out of the food becomes much more common. Um, so, um, in addition, there is there is another factor here as well, which is to do with low stomach acid. And, and if we have low stomach acid for whatever reason, there are quite a number of reasons uh, why this might happen. Um, then, basically, we're also not going to be producing that, uh, digestive enzymes from the pancreas very efficiently. And the reason for this is one of the triggers to the pancreas to, pro to produce these digestive enzymes is actually when the stomach starts producing high levels of, of, of stomach acid in response to the fact that, you know, a meal's coming. And if, if, if that process is impaired, then it's going to also impair the, impair the production of pancreatic enzymes. Right, after all that good news, let's look at some foods which are going to help you. We, there, there are foods which will naturally help to, um, uh, help to stimulate the pancreas and will help to break down um, uh, uh, and help you digest food. And these are basically, uh, we've talked about raw food, but also on top of that, we've got what are called naturally fermented foods. And these are things such as sauerkrauts, um, cottage cheese, yogurt, kefir, things like this. They actually are very good for the digestion, partly because they, they help to break down, you know, they, they help with the whole digestive processes to enhance the digestive processes. So, uh, if you're not eating a lot of raw food, maybe think about adding some of these in. But there are some foods you do need to be aware of, um, and they're, they're foods that actually block enzyme activity, um, such as sort of lentils and, and various pulses and things like that. And again, those of you who are familiar with um, sort of raw food eating at any level know that that you don't eat pulses, you don't eat beans and, and, and lentils and things like this without cooking them first. If you do, you get a very bad case of indigestion because the enzyme um, blocking um, factors in these foods um, actually really stop the proteins. With, pulses and things are rich in protein and it stops the proteins being broken down and obviously causes indigestion. So what you have to do is you either have to cook the food and this kills off the enzymes or you have to do what is called sprout the food um, which turns it into a living food and this again also um, blocks out this enzyme activity so you eat them as sprouted foods and I have to say they're delicious in that way. Okay so very quickly let's um, let's just look at why it's important to break food down properly. It's a bit of a no-brainer in some in some respects, but um, really, obviously, we need to break the food down in order to get the, the nutrient out of it, as I said. But there is also uh, something else here we need to think about, which is that if food isn't isn't properly broken down, broken down, isn't fully broken down, um, partially digested food has the potential to cause us problems. Uh, it can set up damage um, in the gut, it ir irritates the gut wall, it causes um, inflammation in the longer term, it can actually compromise the integrity of the gut wall. The gut wall really should act like a filter to stop unwanted um, uh, particles getting through uh, and bacteria and all sorts of things like this getting through into the bloodstream. And if the gut wall becomes compromised because of partially digested food or large pieces of undigested food, um, then it sets up the scene for an allergy to develop as the body responds to the partially digested food that's getting into the bloodstream. So it's another another very um, important reason actually why you need to pay you know attention to your digestion. And the picture of so-called allergy or intolerance is probably more accurate to call it intolerance. Um, that you know there are a much much greater incidence of intolerances going on, and I do see it as being um, very largely down to the fact that so many people unknowingly have, have impaired digestion. 
um, you know, having impaired digestion doesn't necessarily mean to say you always suffer from uh, indigestion, um, although that can be part of it. But bloating, um, flatulence, just general discomfort, you know, feeling overfull and, and like the food isn't moving out your stomach quickly or it just sits in a lump within you. All of these things are, signed, uh, are signs of impaired uh, digestion at some level or other. And if you're stressed, um, it's inevitable that the that the whole digestive process is going to be impaired and again most of us are stressed in the 21st century and it's it's a very simple equation you know if you don't break down your food properly you can't assimilate the goodness from it and it is going to cause health problems in in the longer term very very common picture now there are a few ways in which you can um, actually maximize uh, your digestion for all types of foods. You can give nature a helping hand, as it were, and we're going to look at a couple of the uh, um, tools that you have available to you. The first is Proactizyme, um, and this is basically it, it's digestive enzymes, but they are plant-based digestive enzymes, so these actually um, are sourced from plants, and they offer quite a wide variety of the various enzymes that we need to break uh, foods down, the proteases, the amylases, and so on and so forth, that we actually need to break foods down. And also included in this formula are various digestive herbs, herbs that um, traditionally have been used to aid digestion and to improve digestion. So it is a very good, very useful formula, and I would recommend that, you know, if you're stressed, you definitely need to take this, but most people can take this with benefit. Um, whatever their age. We come on to then um, the next formula which is food enzymes and this basically um, is the same as the pancreatic enzymes so we've got one formula that's based around the plant-based enzymes that we uh, we ideally have and the other formula is based around the pancreatic enzymes and uh, this contains, not only does it get to contain um, enzymes, but it also contains something to boost the, the levels of acid in the, in the stomach. And we particularly would recommend this to, uh, to older people, so maybe people in their 40s, in their 50s and onwards. Um, it is probably a, um, a better choice than the practice And this is just partly because, as I said, by the time we get into our 40s and 50s, a lot of us have actually, we are producing much, much lower levels of pancreatic enzymes because our store cupboard is running out, as it were. So, um, very easy to take. Uh, you just, one, one capsule of the food enzymes will actually deal with a, you know, a very, very decent sized meal. Um, I find myself that uh, one capsule will do a standard meal and if I'm having a, a large meal, I'll probably need to take two capsules, but obviously we're all different. So, if you find that it's not working as well as you might expect, just, just up the dose a little bit. So there you go. You've got two great choices um, to help ensure that digestion is not your weak spot. As I said, it's vitally important for good health. This really is where good health starts. If you're not getting the food digested and assimilated into you properly, then everything else starts to fall apart. So uh, this is worth paying attention to. Right, I hope you've enjoyed that, I hope you found it informative and I look forward to uh, speaking to you again soon. Bye.